go upstairs though. Hi, I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. My name is Sierra and I'm currently a nursing student and I have been documenting my nursing school journey and experiences and sharing them with you guys. So this video actually has been inspired by somebody else. I posted a video on YouTube a couple weeks ago and basically I was discussing in another YouTube video how I'm actually already finished with pharmacology as a nursing student even though I still have a year left and I was asking for any recommendations for resources and somebody commented and I just want to say thank you to that person. They mentioned this Instagram name and it's called, let me remember it, I want to say it right. I'm going to have it linked down below because I mean, I think she is awesome. She's absolutely amazing. It's called Your Nursing Educator and she has a bunch of different videos, links. She sells products. She has access to free things and she's a nurse and she just has a bunch of tips and tricks and she has a really big following and I think she's super helpful. Anyways, I have a little less than a year until I take my NCLEX, but <laughs> I'm already stressing about it. What's new? When you're in nursing school, I feel like you're stressing about everything. It is what it is. She shared a video and it was basically showing her NCLEX binder. She was just talking about different things and different resources that she used. But I thought, wow, that is a great idea to have a binder dedicated to the NCLEX because I know a lot of students have a binder dedicated to pharmacology, fundamentals of nursing, pathophysiology, big binders, lots of information, but I would love to have one little binder where I can truly dedicate it to information I know is crucial and vital for me to know for my NCLEX exam and make it my own. Obviously, I'm going to be using other resources like UWorld, and then I have this book in my room that is great. I actually need to go grab that. And then other resources, I'm going to have to ask my brother about that. But the purpose of this is I want this to be my NCLEX preparation binder, whatever you want to call it, so that I can use this as a study method after I graduate from school when I have that lull between my graduation and my NCLEX exam date. I want to say I wish I would have done this at the very beginning of school because of the information that I'm going to put in here, I'm going to divide it up into sections. I have dividers here. But I'm going to make it information that I'm not super confident in. So, for example, if I have a pharmacology section in here and... <laughs> I'm sorry, you're going to hear a lot of weird noises in the background. That's the dogs. But anyways, um, I feel super confident, say, with insulin and medications for diabetic patients. I'm not necessarily going to put that in here then. I'm going to put medications that maybe I struggle more with, like opioids or... Honestly, I'm probably going to be putting all of the pharmacology medications in here because that is not my strong suit. But do you see what I'm saying? This is going to be a resource with things that I know I need to work on, not necessarily other information that I feel pretty comfortable in. I hope that that makes sense. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to make this binder and it should be fun. Like I was saying, I, I wish I would have done this in the beginning of my nursing school experience. Just started adding information to this and keeping this from the beginning. So if you're starting school now, or you already started school, starting school soon, I highly recommend that maybe you take that into consideration if you have the time and you don't feel overwhelmed because I know it's extremely overwhelming in the beginning. Trust me, I know. I want to say that it gets better, <laughs> but I, I don't know. It, that's, it, that's dependent on the person and what gets better means to them. I don't know. So I printed off a little front cover page. Initially, I was going to do like a whole nursing picture with like different quotes and all that, but I decided not to. I printed off one of my favorite quotes. It's just be here with me. And it's kind of long, but it says, signs the moon, the stars, your still hot cup of coffee, your kids, your lover, your own beating heart. It's, it's long. I love it though. And I've loved it for years because it just reminds you to be in the moment and be in the present, which is something that I feel like a lot of us kind of struggle with, it, especially in school. It's so hard not to constantly think about, oh my gosh, do I have this project due in two weeks and then I have all these assignments and feeling so very, very overwhelmed. And 
I look at this and it just <laughs> makes me feel calm and it reminds me to be here in the moment that I'm in right now and appreciate it and embrace it, embrace the chaos and yeah, it's a really good quote. I have the whole quote posted on my Instagram if you wanna see it, I can also comment it down below, but it makes me happy. So at least when I look at this binder initially, I am gonna have good feelings. I am going to be positive, put good juju out into the universe and all will be well. <laughs> okay, so you guys are probably tired of hearing me ramble so much about nonsense. Let's get right into it. First things first, in the binder I got just a folder and then I have notebook paper because something that I saw this woman do the instagram that i have shared down below for you guys is she practiced her you world questions and then any of them that she didn't get right she wrote down the rationale so i want to have notebook paper in there first things first you guys can't even see my little area oh actually i want to go get my textbook first i'll be right back Ta-da! i've talked about this book so much i'm sure so many people talk about it because it's amazing so I'm going to be taking notes out of this and putting them in here. Notes that are in sections that I don't feel super confident about. For example, at my school we have something called a HESI. I know some schools have ATIs. I think they're comparable. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. But they're not supposed to really be a part of your grade. They're like a comprehensive exam to kind of see where you stand in school. So we had to take them at the end of my first year just to see how you're doing. And they're supposed to be similar to NCLEX style questions. So it is difficult and you get a score at the end and then it goes into great depth about your individual scores because it gives you scores in different categories like critical care, pediatrics, OB. It's actually really beneficial. And the section that I scored the lowest, what are you doing? Okay, I'm sorry. The section that I scored the lowest in was critical care, which I'm not surprised. Um, I really thought I was gonna love my ICU rotation and I just totally didn't, but I, That was him chasing his tail. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, I just did it, but I wanna give it to IC nurses. They are great, wonderful. They are so smart. They understand how the human body works and how all the body systems are connected. And wow, I learned so much on that clinical day, but I just didn't feel like that was my home. And so the fact that I'm not so interested in critical care and stuff i don't study it as much even though i should be and that's why i feel like i scored lower on that so a lot of critical care information will be in here i'm going to show you guys my little setup and then we'll get started okay i got my candle my water my phone which honestly i should just take this to another room because if it's by me like that it's i'm just gonna set it there it is distracting so we're not gonna have our phones bias right now and then this is paperwork i'm going to show you guys some of it i've accumulated from my first year of school i have dividers my laptop notebook the book i was telling you about my binder my pencil pouch all the fun stuff and then i have more like colored computer paper in case i want to print off some more stuff and then this is a hole puncher first thing I wanted to show you guys and this will be the papers that I will put at the very front of my binder and I will have this linked down below in case you guys want to print yourself your own copy this is called the NCLEX RN cram sheet and it's by nurses labs if you don't know what nurses labs is you're missing out it could really save you some time in school I found these to be super helpful my school had all these papers on a bulletin board like stapled and we got to look over them and i was like oh my gosh i need to print that off for myself at home so just kind of goes over the test with you um different lab values that you really need to be aware of i printed it front and back and then um let's see just a lot of information especially if you're just beginning school a lot of this might not make sense to you i mean it won't make sense to you some of it still doesn't make sense to me but yeah it goes over a lot of the medications that are important very important for you to know and then positioning clients um there's one section i really like oh common signs and symptoms 
So it has all of these different diagnoses. Diagnoses. I don't know. For example, we have appendicitis on here. It has a lot. I would say that's like 40 or 50. Um, probably some of the most common ones. So appendicitis, signs and symptoms would be rebound tenderness at McBurney's point. And then another one would be pneumonia, rust colored sputum. It just gives you a little bit of what you really should know. I don't know, I feel like it's super helpful. So seven pages long, I printed it front and back and this is going to be the first thing that I officially put in my binder. So I have my hole puncher. Oh, I haven't used one of these in forever. <laughs> is that backwards? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> okay, honestly, which way is it going? Oh, figured it out. Do not judge a book by its cover, you guys. Wait, I thought I figured it out. Okay, there we go. All right. Beautiful. So I'm gonna put that in the front. <clears throat> so next here, I brought these papers. This was in my clinical bag. These are papers that I've just gathered over my last year that I felt like I wanted to keep, felt like that were really important. And I'm gonna hole punch some of them and put them in here. But before that, I have my dividers here. And so I'm gonna make different sections. So I know for sure one of them is going to be pharmacology. Just cause I need all the help I can get. So I'm gonna write farm on here. Okay, my dog is being way too quiet. That's suspicious. Okay, never mind. He's literally just sitting down. He's being good. Okay, I don't want this to spear, so hold on. Don't forget to drink your water, you guys. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put it in the divider. Normally I wouldn't get the dividers like these, but this is all I had, so. You have to make do with what you got. Oh my gosh. I remember being in like elementary school, even like middle school and high school and just being so excited to go to school supply shopping and getting dividers and binders and stuff like that. Okay, farm. First tab, unfortunately I don't think that it's gonna focus so you can use your imagination. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it in here. <clears throat> okay, now I know I want a tab for critical care. I know I need to be practicing a lot of those questions. So, critical care. All right, that is going to go in here. And then the next section I wanna do is going to be dosage calc. So that's gonna include um, kind of basic calculations and measurements and IV drip rates. I know I'm going to need to practice those up, especially before the exam, just because I feel like it's true. If you don't use it, you kind of lose it and not completely but you're learning so much information in nursing school at once, putting a lot of stuff in your head and sometimes you can kind of forget little things here and there and then when you refresh yourself, it all starts to come back. But dosage calc is something that's obviously very important. I don't know if your school is similar to mine, but we couldn't even miss a question on our dosage calc exam. I think we had three times to take it. Like you can't get below 100% um because it's that important and there's that many mistakes so just something to keep in mind so we'll do dose calc i know i want to do like a 
OB section for all of my labor and delivery questions. Wow, I can't even think of it. Care for after somebody gives birth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, postpartum care. Good lord. Yeah, there's a couple other sections I want to do, but first I want to show you guys. Uh oh. It's the most paperwork. So, hmm. What do I want to put in here? Hmm. So, S bar. This is a great example of it. So S bar is situation, background, assessment, and recommendation. And if you are taking care of a patient and speaking to a physician about that patient, maybe the physician hasn't seen the patient yet, you want to present the physician or their primary provider, whoever it may be, information that is all on S bar. So I'm gonna put that up here. I feel like I know that pretty well but we'll put it in there. Oh yeah, I have another one of the best bars. Okay, so here is a good one. This is a diabetic management order. Oh, all these. Okay, I know where to put these. So I printed these off from school. These are available online. This will go in my pharmacology section. This is the medical suffixes, and this is the classifications. So when you're learning pharmacology, you wanna learn them by classification rather than an individual medication because it'll make it a lot easier and save you a lot of time, let me tell you. I'm gonna put that in my pharmacology section. And then I have a diabetic management order, which I'm probably gonna put in my pharmacology section as well. Oh, I took a copy of this. You can print something super similar to this offline. It's called a medication calculation practice. This was just provided by my school. A lot of them. So, I think this is like eight pages. So, I never did it. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So I'm going to put it in my dosage calc section as practice. There's so many resources online to practice them and you get the answers back immediately. So I recommend that too. What else is in here? Giving oral report. Incentive spirometer teaching. Definitely going to put that in here under my pharmacology. Oh, and I forgot about this. My teacher provided this too, so most commonly used categories of drugs in the clinical setting, but I'm sure you can find this online. It's obviously from a website. If you have any questions, just comment them down below and I'm, I'm happy to help you guys. Oh yes, I remember. She gave this to us in our very first class. So it's divided by category, class, body system impacted, and then it gives you all the generic names and the brand names. <laughs> If one isn't enough for you, you get to know both. And the most common side effects, like the severe ones. And then nursing considerations and vital assessments. Okay, for example, we have anti-anxiety and that's a category. And it's going to impact the CNS, the central nervous system. And the generic name would be diazepam. And the brand name would be Valium. And the most common side effects would be dizziness, drowsiness, and then it gives you nursing considerations and vital assessments. So assess closely for dizziness, drowsiness within the first dose, and the CNS side effects increase with the elderly. Therefore, always give low range if ordered. So it's kind of like a little cheat sheet, honestly. So this is great. You can see I did not have luck with the whole puncher with this one. See what I'm telling you? I don't know doesn't like me. So I'm going to put it in the pharmacology section of my binder. Boom. Okay, the rest of this, oh yeah, there's one more I wanted to put. Incentive spirometer teaching. I love how I have all these papers for pharmacology when I was telling you I'm gonna need all the help I can get and here we are, I have a lot of good information already. Okay, so what I wanna do next is 
how I kind of want to just start this is as I go through this textbook, I think I'm going to be able to come up with more categories, like dividers that I want for my NCLEX book. Because like I said, I'm going to make this my own. So this is going to be information that I know I may struggle with or that I really need a refresher on, that I want to use this as a resource when I'm preparing for my NCLEX with all the other resources that I will hopefully have too. I have this notebook and I've been writing in it and I'm probably just gonna take the papers from it and then add them to my binder. So this book has a bunch of different sections and there's a whole section for maternity nursing. So I'm gonna go to that section and what we're going to do for example, what page is that, 256. I'm going to start on a blank piece of paper in here, title it, and I'm going to read through. And one thing that I was doing with this book is if there's any words that I wasn't familiar with, I was Googling them and writing them in here. Any information that I don't recognize, I don't remember learning in school, or something that seems confusing to me, I'm going to research it, understand the concept, write it down in here, and put it in my binder. So I'm going to start from the beginning. Cause he just wants his belly rubbed. <laughs> Hi. Okay guys, so it has been a couple of hours. I made, oh hi. I made several pages of notes. Oh, you wanna say hi too? Sorry, you have to hear my obnoxious dog voice. Anyways, as I was saying, I made several pages of notes and I added them to my binder. And I'm gonna keep it going. I'm gonna try to do that every day before I officially begin my second year of school. For now, it is time to have dinner, cuddle with camper. I got Bachelor in Paradise on tonight in a little bit. Gotta watch it because I have a fat crush on one of the guys. Jamie, if you're watching this, don't out me. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of your kind words. I hope you guys are doing great and welcoming September with open arms. I know there is a lot going on right now. So, <laughs> okay, okay. But just remember to take it day by day and <laughs> and know that you're not alone and yeah hope you guys take care and i'll see you guys in my next video which will be super soon i am going to be posting every monday wednesday and friday don't forget to check out my etsy shop i added a couple new items to it if you're interested in some nursing school supplies so i'll see you guys again very very soon these dogs are begging for my attention and i have to give it to them because i love them so much 